Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the T's. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the study manuals for the T's. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problems that we are about to solve are the ones that you will find on page number 75. Please turn to it. Page number 75 and today is our lesson number 43. Let's see what we have there. We have two practice problems. The first one deals with the expenses uh, and uh, the remainder amount that the person would have from the take home pay. Let's take a look at it. The expenses are given to us as rent, which we are told is 350. Food, these are all nice round numbers, so there is nothing to worry about. 320. Utilities is $215.60. I just said the old nice round number and there it is, it's not $215.60 and finally we are told that uh, the person has car expenses of $240 car expenses being the car insurance, the gas, perhaps the car payment and so on and so forth. Let's see what it adds up to. As always we're not going to waste our time with dealing with uh, nickels and dimes we're going to round things up and down, if it's more than 50 cents we round it up, if it's less than 50 cents we round it down is $215.60. Let's pretend that it's $260. $216, that is. Round it up. So we're going to off, off by 40 cents. No big deal. 6. 2 plus 5 is 7. 7 plus 1 is 8. 8 plus 4 is 12. 2. Carry 1. 2 plus 2 is 4. 4 plus 6 is 10. 11. Looks like the total expenses for this person is $1,126. We are also told that the employee's take-home pay is $1,280.50. Take-home pay is $1,280.50. The expenses are $1,125. Eleven twenty-six, rather eleven twenty. Actually, you know, it was eleven twenty-five sixty is what it is because, because if you recall, we rounded that thing. So we basically we are ignoring this fifty cents and this sixty cents is not big deal. So that's it. The difference is the difference is what we're looking at. That fifty cents cancels out the other sixty cents, and uh, we come up with ten minus five is going to be five. So what happened was that I left the sixty cents there. We left the 60 cents there and this is 11.25.60, 11.25.60 and this is 12.80.50, not the amount, that's all. The take home pay is this amount, expenses are this amount, 10 minus 5 is 5, this becomes 7, 7 minus 2 is 5 again, 2 minus 1 is 1, and 0. So it looks like $155 is what this person is going to have left over out of every paycheck, whether the paycheck is weekly or bi-weekly, it doesn't really matter. Uh, let's see if we didn't make a boo-boo here. An employee's take-home pay from the part-time job is $12.80 each month. Okay, so these are monthly expenses, monthly salary, so we are fine. Because for a second I thought that they were giving the salaries in weekly or bi-weekly terms and the expenses in the monthly term, in which case we would have to do the adjustments. We have to do some multiplying of the pay. but. The pay is also monthly and so are the expenses. So this is what the person is going to have left over after everything is paid for about $155 put aside. Let's do the next one, shall we? Number two. We are done with this one? Number two. Number two deals with the notion of take home pay, like the ones we did yesterday.
take home pay. We are told that the hourly wage is $28.31. $21.31 is the hourly wage. We are told that the person works three 12 hour shifts per week. It's three 12 hour shifts per week, which works out to be which works out to be 36 hours per week. We have to always be attentive to make sure that the pay, check, pay period is not one week. If it's two weeks, then we will have to multiply this 36 by 2 if the person is getting paid fortnightly every other week. And it is good, and they are getting paid. I shouldn't say they, it's not, single, it's not plural. Uh, the person, he or she, she's getting paid fortnightly, but she gets paid. Fortnightly, every other week. Fortnightly, of course. Fortnightly, of course, is the word that we learned on day number 63 of our vocabulary video. Just type in Kishwani, vocabulary words, day, uh, day 63, and you'll see the video. So they get paid, uh, she gets paid rather, or he gets paid uh, every other week. In that case, the total number of hours will have to be, you know, that implies that the total number of hours, total hours, it's going to be 32 times 2 or 76 hours per paycheck. 76 hours per paycheck because it's 36 hours per week. Let's get going. Enough of the talk. Let's first look at the deduction, shall we? Deductions, we are told federal tax, we are told, is 256.18. Federal insurance, they call it, which is the FICA and FUTA, most presumably. They call it the federal insurance. What they mean by that is the, not the health insurance, but rather the insurance for the old age, which is Social Security. And uh, it's not really insurance, insur uh, uh, retirement plan, if you like, the FICA and the FUTA, which is the unemployment insurance. So that comes out to be 125.95. We are told that the state tax, we are told it's 198.12. Retirement plan is exactly $100. Health insurance is 89.51. Okay, let's round things up. As you can see, my digits always line up, the unit digits line up, the unit digits, the 10 digits line up, and, and 100 digits always line up here. That is not the case, because this is not our final version. Now we're going to do the rounding, and we're going to do the work on this side. 256, 18, we're going to ignore the 18 part, so it's 256, and this is where we're going to do the addition, so this is where you have to make sure that the units line up. 124.95, we're going to pretend it is 125. State tax is 198.12, forget the 12 cents. 198. Retirement is exactly $100. And 89.51 will become 90. That's all. 6 plus 5 is 11. 11 plus 8 is 9. And 19. 19 is 9. Carry 1. 1 plus 5 is 6. 6 plus 2 is 8. 8 plus 18. 8 plus 18. Uh, 18 plus 10 would have been 28. So it's 26. 6. Carry 2. 2 plus 2 is 4, 4 plus 1 is 5, 5 plus 1 is 6, 6 plus 1 is 7. 769 is what I come up with for the total deduction. Now what we have to figure out is the gross pay. Let's do it here. This is where you have to pay attention. This is where you have to learn how to estimate. It's $28.38. We're not going to waste our bloody time uh, trying to figure out $28.31 times 76. It will take a long time. I'm going to pretend the hourly wage is $28. So it's 70, 76 times 28. So there is your $28 per hour. $28 per hour. And we have 76 cents. That does not look right. 32 
Why does it say 32? Shouldn't it say 36? Because I realized that the unit digit makes no sense. You see, I wrote down 32 inadvertently, and had that been the case, the unit digit here should have been 4. 2 times 2 is 4. It's not, so it's not 32, it is 36. And 36 times 2 is 72. This is all wrong. 36 times 2, 35 times 2 is 70, so it's 72. Man, it's a good thing I caught myself. It didn't look right, because you see, 2 times 2 should have been 4, not 2. That's how you catch a mistake. It's okay to make mistakes as long as you're alert enough to catch a mistake most of the time. So 28 times 72. Let's do it, shall we? 8 times 2 is 16. 6, carry 1. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5. 7 eighths up. You have to know your tables. As I told you before the very first day, you have to know your tables 1 through 10 by heart. 7 eighths are, this is what I'm saying, 7 eighths are, how much are 7 eighths? I know 7 7 are 49, that I know, because I know my square, 7 7 are 49, 7 squared is 49. If 7 7 are 49, if you add one more 7 to it, 49 plus 2 is 50, uh, 49 plus 1 is 50, and then another 6 will make it 56. 56, 6, carry 5, carry 5, this 1 will become 5. And we have 7 times 2 is 14. 14 plus 5 is 19. 11, 0. I'm getting $2,016. We're not quite done yet. This, we're not quite done. Now we're going to do our adjustment. This is, where, this is where learning how to do the approximation comes in. So listen carefully. Listen carefully. I'm going to do it on the bottom here. The actual salary. Actual salary is $28. And... What did we write? 31 cents. 21 dollars and 31 cents. Okay, listen, listen carefully what I'm about to say. I'm going to pretend, I'm going to pretend that it, their salary actually is 28 dollars and 33 cents. Why 33 cents? Because 33 cents is a third of a dollar. So she makes or he makes a third of a dollar more per hour. But they have 72, dollars, 72 hours in the paycheck. So we have to figure out a third of a 72. You get it? This three represents a third of a dollar per hour. A third of a dollar per hour. So we have to take the third of that amount. Okay? How many threes in a seven? Seven has two threes. The remaining one goes and joins the two, becomes 12. How many threes in a 12? 12 has four threes which makes perfect sense because 25 times 3 we know 25 times 3 we know is 75 and therefore it stands to reason that 24 times 3 should be 3 less than that which is 72 which is exactly what we had here so we have to add another 24 cents because every hour she works she gets a third of a dollar more than we pretended we pretended that she gets 28 dollars she actually gets 28 dollars and 33 cents which we are rounding to 28 dollars and 33 cents we are pretending that her hourly salary is 28, 28 and a third of a dollar. So we have to add that extra 24 that we missed. Let's do that very quickly. Enough of the talk here. 0, carry 1, 4, 0, and 2. That's it. That's her, that's her gross salary. We just have to do the deduction and we are done. Let's do the deduction. I need the room, obviously. So that's the gross salary. Those are the deductions. 769 are the deductions. And that's it. We are done. So we're going to get here, uh, 10 minus 9 is uh, 1, this is going to become 3, 13 minus 6, 13 minus 6 is 7, this becomes 9, 9 minus 7 is 2, and this becomes 1. So it looks like $1,271 is what, what the take home pay is. Take home. Okay. Now listen, I'm going to make one last comment, it is absolutely not necessary. This is close enough. You should be able to find the right answer in the exam just based on that twelve hundred and seventy-one dollars because answers are not going to be that close and that close to each other. Do you understand? But the very last remark that I'm going to make is just because I feel like making it and it just comes to my mind. If you wanted to, if you wanted to be very nitpicky, you could do one tiny slide adjustment at the very end. You see what's going on here? Listen very carefully. What's going on here is that we pretended that uh, she is getting paid twenty-eight dollars. See thirty-three cents right here. We pretended the person is getting paid. $28 and a third, 28 and a third of a dollar. 
a third of a dollar is 33 cents. The person is getting paid 31 cents. And they work 72 dollars, 72 hours. For each hour that they work, we counted two extra pennies. 70 times 2 is dollar 40. So we could, if you wanted to, you could subtract another dollar to make it closer. You could subtract another dollar to make it closer. And now this thing that we arrived at should be damn close. But, so this, this one dollar deduction is for the, for the two, for the, for the two, extra pennies per hour, uh, per hour, not per dollar. Two extra pennies per hour, it should have been two times 72, which is a dollar 42 something. A uh, dollar 42 would be subtracted dollar. But anyway, 1270 12, is a pretty good answer. It's a damn good answer in the exam. And as I said, you should have absolutely no trouble overall Find this, finding something that comes closest to it. 1270, which problem was this? Problem number 75. That's it, we're done. That was the last one on the page. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.